Hey guys, I just came back from swimming with the turtles, which was absolutely freaking amazing. I cannot wait to upload the footage and to show you guys. And also I did a nice like 10 minute ab workout that I'm going to upload. And then also, of course, an anti-anxiety yoga flows because not like you really need it when you're super chilled on an island, but anyways. So I've come up with a, a few things, well, a few things have come up in my recovery and also a lot now, even now that I'm out of recovery and something I, I really, really wanted to address and I hope it's helpful because I know no matter what part of recovery you're at, no matter, even if you're not, even if you haven't suffered from an eating disorder, even if you're not in recovery, but you would have still faced this particular problem. And that is those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people that are very opinionated about your choices and your lifestyle. And it can, it can get to a point where, you know, even especially when it comes from family or close friends, it can be, it can be really, really stressful so it's something that I just wanted to just explain and just to go over from both sides you know from bo both points both perspectives exactly what to do and how to handle it how to not let something like uh, a difference in opinion because affect your relationship because it's something that essentially you are very passionate about. If you live a certain lifestyle, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, paleo, low fat, high fat, low carb, high carb, it doesn't matter. Most likely you have made the decision to live a certain way because it's something you're passionate about. And so that's why it can get extra, it can be a, like extra, there can be extra tension, extra build up, extra conflict when someone has a love when someone likes to interject a difference in opinion so the first thing believe in your morals as in you have this belief for a reason and it's okay if someone disagrees it's normal it's what makes human beings so beautiful is that no two are the same but just don't doubt yourself believe that okay you live this lifestyle for a certain way if you know it's you avoiding trigger foods if it's as long as you are being healthy and you feel passionate about something back yourself that's the best advice i was ever given was back yourself believe in yourself be your biggest little supporter or cheerleader sometimes i even go like go jacks you can do it you can do it and the more you believe in your morals it, it just doesn't matter don't project them onto other people or have these expectations of them to believe them just because it's something you're really passionate about number two and as an Aries something that it took me quite a while to master this and sometimes I don't but the this is actually one of the better pieces of advice I can give you guys on this matter and that is to don't automatically attack and defend your difference in opinion or your lifestyle choice. Me personally, I am very much into my clean eating, my exercise, my life is all about being as healthy as I can be and a lot of the time people don't understand or they'll be like, have a cheat meal, have some cake or just, you know, don't go to the gym this week because you're on holiday. I'm like, look, it's something that's important to me, so I will do it. And so a lot of the time, it's like a reflex, is to attack back or to automatically defend yourself. But instead of going on that complete confrontational path, all you need to do is always give the other person the benefit of the doubt. Give them the chance to understand why you live a certain way, give them the chance just to to understand how your mind works and how you came to that decision. Now that doesn't mean that they're going to agree with you, but what it does mean is they'll have a chance just to understand your difference in opinion. It does wonders. Instead of saying, yeah, but you know what? It's terrible the way you live your life and blah, blah, blah. Just say, look, I'm passionate about this. I really care about my exercise. It keeps my head sane. It just 
keeps me sane. It's how I deal with stress. So maybe you don't, maybe you deal with it a different way, but this is how I do it. Always give them the chance to understand before you get really offended because it can be something so abstract to them that they could never even begin to understand or comprehend why an individual would choose to live this way. An example, at the breakfast buffet this morning, people were eating like savory noodles for breakfast and I thought, that is insane, that is mental. Kids are choosing to go for these noodles when there is waffles and Nutella right next to them. For me, that was unfathomable, but you know, for them, or, or the people that have grown up differently or have been educated differently, they couldn't fathom how I would want to douse my pancake in Nutella in the morning because, hey, morning time is for savory. So it's just that, even that little thing, those cultural understanding, cultural differences, each experience you have changes you. And just give the other person a chance to just explain, educate them. And like I said, it doesn't mean they're going to agree with you. It doesn't mean you're going to be on the same page, but it gives you guys also a chance to grow. It's, it's really, really a beautiful thing when you guys end up like coming to that sort of understanding. Number three is if you can't be honest with them, if you can't say, I am not eating because of this, that, if there's a part of you that doesn't want to share a piece of the information, then is it really the right decision? If it's something you're ashamed of or something you feel isn't right, then mm, then I'll do a little bit of soul searching because you should feel okay expressing with the crowd your opinion. If you're shy, completely different point. I know people that just literally do not make eye contact and that are like, oh, don't look at me at the table. But if you feel that there is something wrong that you can't be honest about why you are living a certain way, then either get new friends or you have to ask yourself why that is. Number four, life is always gonna give you conflict. Whether it's someone telling you that that dress was blue and gold or black and white, what, whatever that whole debacle was, there is always going to be a difference in opinion. There is always gonna be something conflicting out there. The trick is just to change your perspective on the matter. Stop seeing it as a conflict like, and stop being so attached to the world's opinion on something. It could have riled the crap out of you that it, you're like, no, that was the blue and gold dress. But, and, and it could have pissed the crap out of you like that someone said, oh no, it's the black and white dress. Why does it matter? Why are you so attached to what someone else thinks? Because you believe that dress was blue and gold. Damn it, that dress was blue and gold. Personally, I have no freaking idea. I'm like schizo on the subject. I change my mind every two minutes, depending uh, time of day. So yeah, it's it's just learning how to just change the way you perceive a certain situation. A lot of the time we can feel attacked when someone has a difference in opinion, but why do we have so much attachment to that person's opinion? Why are you letting it affect you and influence you so much? Jack says stop. Jack says be happy, look within. I'm like you're Rafiki or you're Yoda being a guru right now. Next little thing I'm gonna give you is put yourself first. Be your own best friend. A lot of the time we always think, shit, to please this person, I've gotta do this, or oh my gosh, I wish they would understand it. Like, you know, no one gets me. Like, <laughs> but if you are your own best friend and you genuinely support yourself and your decision, then it doesn't matter if you're your external best friend doesn't, it's fine because you're like, hey, I believe in what I'm doing. Okay, I do. It's okay, Jax. I understand the way you live your life. Just, it make, at the end of the day, you are the one that falls asleep alone at night. You are the one that you have to answer to when you look in the mirror. It's you looking back at you. It's not your friend. If it is, I would get your mirror fixed or I would go speak to someone. Totally different story. So yeah, that is that is a biggie. Be your biggest supporter. And I hated myself so much during my eating disorder recovery. 
Learning to love myself was the best thing and the most difficult thing I ever, ever did. Uh, like, at the, at the beginning, I couldn't think of one thing I liked about myself. I would be embarrassed to go out of the house. I was like, oh my gosh, the villagers are going to torch me. But you just genuinely, you start in little bits, like little increments, bit by bit. Look at something good in yourself every single day, whether you have to start off with something as minuscule as I like the placement of that freckle, or um, I like this shade of the tip of my hair follicle. That counts. Still counts. <laughs> and then that way, you know, you have something little small, and like I say, it's small victories that win the war. Every day, do something small that a friend would do for a friend. As in, I'll treat myself to some lush, and I'm like, don't mind if I do, Jax. And your body genuinely thanks you for it. It feels that feeling of gratitude. So that is very important. The next thing I want to tell you is, anyone that truly loves you will have your best intention at heart. So it's always helpful to listen to the other person's opinion. It doesn't mean it's right, but just listen and then in your own time, reflect on it, see if there's truth in it, be like, is it healthy the way I'm living my life? Give them the benefit of the doubt in that retrospect as well, as in believe in your morals, but never be so close-minded that you can never look at a difference in opinion. That is what bad people do. Bad people do that, and we're not going to name names because this isn't about politics, but you've got to be able to see it from the other side of the coin, my friends. Another thing that's actually really important is know what your beliefs are. That sounds really random, but wait for it. What I mean is do your research. Don't just follow a fad. If it's a fad, that's not a belief. That is a phase. Like, I went through a... I went through an emo gothic phase when I was 13. It wasn't a passion. It wasn't a belief. I didn't believe in worshipping the gods of death metal and, and rock. It was just a phase. So if you have done your research, then you should be able to back your point. And so what, what I'm saying is, if you're doing something because you saw a YouTuber doing it, or doing something because something looks good because you saw it in a magazine, someone that inspires you is doing it, research into what they're doing, why they're doing it, and then choose whether you want to follow it. But don't blindly follow something. It's just, it, trust me, it never ends well. When curly hair was a big thing, I permed my hair. I bleached my hair because it looked good on this model. I should have researched people with dark, dark hair bleaching their hair and leaving their eyebrows. Any choice you make, just do your research. So when someone asks you a question about your beliefs, you don't go, uh, it's because Beyonce went on the cayenne pepper diet and it worked. Research the cayenne pepper diet, look at what it does, look at why it works, and you feel so much more secure and confident in your beliefs. That is really, really all the world needs, is people just to do their research not to listen to something or believe it because someone else told you so. Someone else can tell you something, you may agree with it, do your research before you impose that belief and before you take it so much to heart. Last little bit of advice is, doesn't always have to end in a win. You can agree to disagree, or just because the other person isn't gonna share your beliefs or isn't gonna completely change around and be like, Oh my god, I accept you. I accept the fact that you want to eat kill right now. Or I accept the fact that you don't like to eat processed foods. Those are tough ones for some people. But don't have any hard feelings. Don't let a difference in opinion ruin a relationship or ruin something great. It's a beautiful thing to be different. You educate each other, you learn new things, you look at the world in a different way with different people. Life would be boring if we all had the same opinion. And yes, it can hurt when you're at a table and people are just all saying to you, drink a Coca-Cola, and you're like, no, I don't do processed foods. So it's, and it all, don't go to the gym. I'm like, no, I, I need that. I need it for my head and I need it for the safety of the people around me. 
I enjoy working with my body. It's just I've become very much in tune with it, with my yoga, with everything. I understand how it works because I listen to it. Other people don't know your body as well as you do. So just guys, deep breath at the dinner table, at the lunch table, wherever it is. People don't understand a phase you're on. Just go through the tips mentally that I just mentioned and you will be fine. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments down below, if you guys want any advice or anything, you can see I talk about my pooping habits. I talk about anything. So whatever you want to know about, just let me know and I will get back to you guys. And bye. Have an amazing, amazing day. Mwah.